Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I shall be explaining you about the services provided by transmission control protocol. This protocol, the very first one in the list you have learned about UDP, the services provided by the UDP. Similar way, you should also know the services that are provided by the TCP, transmission control protocol. The list is here. So, I shall explain you one by one the services. The first one in the list is process to process communication. So, this particular service I have been explaining when I started telling you about the services at the transport layer, services by the UDP. Once again, here you are going to see the same point process to process communication. So, without this, the, the no transport layer will function. You have the client and the server transmission control protocol or any transport layer protocol works in the client server paradigm. So, here you have the TCP IP protocol suit here you have the TCP IP protocol suit at the receiver side this is the application layer and this is the transport layer so application program at the transport layer is sending what the data to the transport layer and the transport layer will send that data to to the what to the application layer program that is running at the server side so we say there is a process here there is a process here so that is how it is called as process to process communication and the remaining part of this in detail also you can elaborate this point you are going to get a port number for this type of process so here you will get a source port number there you will get at this side you will get a destination port number you have one more service included here is the sender and the receiver once at any point of time this application layer is sending the data to the transport layer the transport layer at the client has got a buffer to store all the bytes that it is receiving from the application layer. So, okay, it is shown what it can be shown as a circular array. So, each location in the array is storing a byte. So, this is called as the sending buffer. The buffer at the sender side, you call it as a sending buffer. Similarly, at the server side also you have a buffer at the receiver side. So, the receiver side buffer is also storing what all the bytes that it is receiving from this. So, as and when the bytes travel, no, suppose if I am showing you with this particular, the bytes start getting from here, the bytes starts storing at the receiver side. So, we say there is a buffer at the sender side and there is a buffer at the receiver side. So, once the receiver stores the bytes in the buffer, later it will send these bytes towards what the application program that is running at the at its own side. So, this is how we can say sender and the receiving buffers are there. And also there is one more concept here in the transmission control protocol, it is called as segment. Once these bytes are saved here, all these bytes here travel in a form of a segment. Segment consists of what? The different byte. So, I will just uh, draw this segment in a uh, bigger uh, font suppose if this is the segment segment consists of what the different bytes so you should remember the concept of the segment here whatever are the bytes that is received from the application layer program the transport layer will what put certain bytes into one segment let us assume that a segment may have thousand bytes then all these thousand bytes are, uh, are uh, included in one segment and it is sent towards the receiver so this segment is also one of the concept in the transmission control protocol and each of the byte whatever is there a byte number is given to this every byte will have some number if the byte number in this case is let us take 601 the first one the second one will be 602 the third one will be 603 like this you will have for each of the byte a byte number so if you are starting, if the segment carries 1000 bytes, the first byte number will be 601 and plus 1000 if you add that will be the last byte number. Uh, so, 601 is the first byte number. So, the last byte or number will be 1601 because the segment carries 1000 bytes. So, this is how is the concept of segment. Always you should tell that the data is transferred in the form of segments here in transmission control protocol. Then you have one more service included called as full duplex communication. Full duplex communication, the data can be sent from the sender to the receiver. At the same time, the server can also send the data to the sender. So, that means now when you are having in a full duplex uh, communication, you should have what the client should also maintain one more receiver, uh, one more buffer, sorry. 
so sender buffer and receiver buffer to and whereas the server will maintain receiver buffer as well as the sender buffer because it can act both as a sender and receiver this we can also act as a both sender and receiver because it supports what full duplex communication the data can be sent in both the directions the next one is multiplexing and demultiplexing this uh, feature i have explained in udp as well in transport layer once again i'll just try to repeat there will be different processes running at what the application layer all these processes i can just show with this symbol okay if all these processes will be what collected by one transport layer since transport layer is one we say multiplexing multiplexing because it is taking many process and the entity receiving entity is one many to one whereas at the receiver side the transport layer is definitely one only and it is receive the data it will send to the different processes at the uh, reserver side here it is what one to many sender side it is many to one at the receiver side it is one to many remember i'll just repeat once again multiplexing and demultiplexing many processes running at the application layer transport layer is one entity receiving all these processes at the sender side the transport layer is again one entity sending all the, uh, the uh, data that is received to all the respective processes so this way we say multiplexing and demultiplexing happening what about the next service the connection oriented service transport layer is a connect transmission control protocol is having what feature connection oriented feature whereas udp was connection less protocol so what is the difference so the one service that is provided by the transmission control protocol here is connection oriented service so this uh, udp is a connection less protocol whereas tcp is a connection oriented protocol connection oriented protocol before the data is sent connection connection is established okay then the data is sent after the data is sent successfully the connection is terminated that means you are having these three phases whenever we say a particular protocol is connection oriented establish the connection then uh, send the data and then terminate the connection in udp what was happening is directly the sender was start the sender started sending the data without having any connection establishment so udp basically it is used for small messages it can work but tcp will have very long messages isn't it and these messages will be sent in the stream it is like the mode of transmission is what in the form of segments the segment consist of bytes and these bytes which are like it is a stream of bytes that is traveling from the sender to the receiver and for this stream of bytes to reach successfully at the receiver you should have this kind of mechanism only connection oriented mechan first to try to establish the connection that means the server should also be ready to accept the data connection oriented is first the sender is trying to send a request like are you ready to take the data from me are you ready to take the request from me when the sender replies yes only then we say the sender uh, when the receiver replies yes then the sender will start sending the data once the data is received by the receiver that is it reaches the server then the connection termination should happen once again the connection that means the server and the client will close the connection so this is called as connection oriented service you have the reliable service basically we want what reliable service the, in the transmission in networking if a packet is reaching the server the sender should come to know that the packet has reached the su server successfully and in transmission control protocol it is done wow the receiver this is the send the receiver will send an acknowledgement the sender has sent the data or the segment or the packet to the receiver and the receiver is sending an acknowledgement an acknowledgement is a clear indication that the packet is received at the receiver side but in udp this was not there even if the packet is lost during transmission udp does not care about this whereas in tcp because you have error control mechanism the sender will come to know if there is a loss of packet during transmission or if the packet has reached correctly at the destination then the sender is receiving an acknowledgement from the receiver hence we say this is a reliable service so these are the different services that are provided by the transmission control protocol it can be asked for 5 to 6 marks or sometimes 7 marks also 
So based on the marks, you have to elaborate these points for this question. Hope this explanation is clear to you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.